What's up, Cal Gang? Welcome back to some dynamics. So let's solve this problem. So we get this kind of complicated thing going on here. So first of all, we have this whole blue area, right? It's connected here, and it's moving to the left five meters a second with an acceleration of two meters a second squared. And you have that little two in there, right? And so what's happening is there's this little pin on B, and it can go up and down this. And so what's happening is rod AB is rotating this way. So this rotation is making this kind of action move and it's going to move around. So our goal is to find the angular acceleration of AB and angular velocity of AB at the moment theta is equal to 60 degrees. So let's solve for that. So first of all, let's draw our little triangle here and let's just kind of try to figure out intuitively what's about to happen. So this is point A and this is point B. We know that length is 200 millimeters. Right? And this theta is equal to 60 degrees, so let's label that theta. Now, our velocity, right? What is our velocity? Well, this x component represents basically our position. So we can label this to be x. And what's x equal to? Well, it's equal to uh, 200, or not 200, let's do 0.2. Let's convert to meters right away. 0.200 uh, times cosine of theta. All right, so if x is this, right, uh, we can see through geometry, but we can find velocity by taking the time derivative, right, because dx dt is the velocity. So let's take the time derivative and let's do x dot. So now we're taking the derivative of this. So of course it's going to be negative 0 0.0200 sine of theta, and then we're going to multiply it by theta dot. All right, so then let's plug in our numbers. So what are we doing? Uh, let's not plug in numbers yet. What are we trying to solve for, right? Angular velocity and angular acceleration. Well, what you'll notice is that theta dot, right? What is theta dot? Theta dot is angular acceleration. So let's rearrange this in terms of theta dot. So this is going to be equal to x dot uh, over 0 0.200 sine of theta. And so we know what x dot is. x dot is velocity. So now we just need to plug in our numbers. That was a voice crack of a century. All right, so let's plug in W for here. So x dot is equal to 5 meters a second. Let's put negative 5 because it's going left. And I forgot the negative here, so this is going to be... The negatives are going to cancel out, right? And that's going to be 0 0.200 sine of... What's the degree? 60 degrees. Make sure I did that right. And then you're going to get that W, or angular velocity, is equal to 28.9 radians per second. Right, so we find the angular velocity, now let's find the angular acceleration. So you can probably guess how we're going to do that. We're going to take another time derivative, starting here. Because we know the acceleration, we know x double dot. So we're going to take this time derivative. So we're going to do x dot dot. So let's start by taking the derivative of the first part. So it's going to get negative 0 0.200 cosine of theta. And then this theta dot is going to get squared because it's going to be another theta dot created by conduct rule. And then we're going to need to do another one because we need to multiply by that one x. So minus 0 0.200 sine of theta. And this is the derivative this time, so it's going to become theta double dot. All right, so now we have this equation. And what do we need to do? Let's replace things with what we know. So x double dot is our acceleration. So we're going to replace this with acceleration is equal to negative 0 0.200 cosine of 60. And then theta dot, that is our angular velocity, so we can plug in 28.9 squared. Then we can subtract again 0 0.200 sine of 60 degrees. And then angular, or W, or angular acceleration is equal to theta double dot. So we can replace this with alpha. So this is now our unknown. So what's going to happen now is our acceleration. Let's plug in what acceleration is. We're accelerating to the left, so this is going to become a negative 2. So then what we're going to do is we're going to move this over and you're going to get negative 2 plus 0 0.200 plus sine of 60 and then 28.9 squared. Now we're going to divide by everything else over here. So this is going to become a negative again, 0 0.200 sine of 60. And this is all going to be equal to our angular acceleration. And if you solve that, you get negative 470 radians per second squared. And that's how you solve this problem. Cool question, right? So not so tricky. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. 
Uh, check out the rest of my playlist if you have any more dynamics problems you need to figure out. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.